Hey guys, Rudrick here, and welcome to Rudrick Tries Tales of Berseria. As you all probably know, as I've said on Twitter and mentioned in some uh, videos, I'm a big Tales fan. I love the Tales series. And as of this video, this new title, Tales of Berseria, comes in like two days. Uh, I have it pre-ordered, and I'm going to go get it tomorrow night, because I'm crazy that and... For some reason, we can get it at 9 o'clock, which is good. Anyway, today we're going to look at the demo for Tales of Berseria. I'm probably going to get the game regardless. But this is a first for the Tales series where the main protagonist is female. Now, this is also sort of a prequel to the last game that was released in the Tales series, Tales of Zysteria. Which, there's mixed opinions about, but I like Tales of Zysteria. I finished it. I did not finish the DLC. Um, I might eventually do that. Um, but as far as history with the Tales series, Symphonia is my favorite. But today, it's all about Tales of Berseria and the demo. Let's get started. Looks like we get to uh, select a mode, a group claiming to have found an ancient book. Ever read my clip? Search the beach for someone. Let's do scenario mode. Yes, because. And once you complete the story portion, if you die during battle, you can retry. Okay, good. Okay, let's see here. This is probably about like what I'm used to. Yeah. Beautiful waters. So this is Muckler Beach. I hope she's actually here. Hmm. What is it, Luffy said? I was told that women's looks can be deceiving, but I'm not sure what I'm supposed to see. That's an age-old problem for men. You with me, Aizen? Aye. Hey, it's women Aizen! Are fickle creatures at best. They lie as easily as they breathe, and men can never see through their deceptions. <laughs> I totally feel you. Sounds like you've both been through hard times. The wounds women leave on a man's heart take longer to heal than a cut delivered by a sword. Uh, it's that Truth. bad? Beware a maiden's tears, boy. And guard yourself well. That's my advice to you. Beware tears and guard myself. Don't put any weird ideas into Lafayette's head, you two. They're just facts. If you fill his head with any more garbage, I'm eating both of you. Ooh. Yes, ma'am. Yikes. The swordsman and the pirate having troubles with women? <laughs> well, women are nothing if not difficult. True. I have the deepest sympathy for you both. What do you think of the latest <laughs> <What the> reactions? <laughs> well, Velvet won't eat either of you, and Mogilu didn't seem sympathetic at all. See? Appearances can be deceiving. And it seems you've absorbed the lesson well. <laughs> right. I'm not like that, though. So well, many characters! Yes. Some women use their tears to manipulate others, but not all do. And I, for one, despise such duplicity. The women who did that to Aizen and Rokuro are just the extreme. Yeah, I can see how much you hate dishonesty, Eleanor. Huh? Um, yeah, that's right. Be a good example for the boy, then, so he doesn't end up like Rokuro and me. <laughs> I intend to do just that, whether or not you ask it of me. Eleanor is a lot stronger than she appears. This skit's going on forever. <laughs> oh, of course, the minute I say something. Interesting. Also, I do know that Velvet here is a werewolf, I think? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she can turn into a werewolf. Um, is this an item we can pick up? Yeah, cat spirits in boxes. Cat spirits are strange energies that drift through the world. You can collect them by touching them. You will need these spirits to open cat's boxes. What? We can open cat's boxes now? Creatures. This game is beautiful. Holy crap, this makes Zysteria look terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. Turn a silver coin. No, go away. I don't want to fight you yet. Arcane bottle. Uh, oh, there's some cat spirits over here. Yeah, seriously, this makes Zysteria look like crap. I mean, I love, I do like Zysteria. You know, some people will disagree with me, but this game makes Zysteria look crappy. <laughs> it kind of does. The graphics are beautiful. Check this. Lovely seashell. Oh, what do you want? Okay, fine. Let's just do this. Battle tutorial. I have a... Souls can be used to perform a combo attack. When your souls all become red, your attack will be deflected. 
Oh, we can... Oh, that's different. We can use, uh... Huh. Interesting. We can use, uh, different buttons. Oh! Yeah, I gotta back off a minute. I gotta back off a minute. So we can use different button combinations now. Okay. I gotta back off. I gotta back off. Very different. Very different so far. It's necessary, so no, I don't think so. Classic honor all students. I will say that one my one gripe so far is the audio on their voices. It's a little scratchy. Um not impressed with that. That can be better. Um hopefully that's improved by the time the game comes out, because that's gonna bug me otherwise. Can I get over here? Let's see here. Can I? Okay, yeah. Can I open that? Yes, I can. Elixir! Those always come in handy. Okay, what do you want? Okay, let's try... Oh, battle tutorial. Use L1 to defend. Greatly to... Ooh. Alright. Guard. Good thing I did. Come on. Got a block, got a block, got a block. Ow! Hey, 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 hey! Whoa! Boom! Block, 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 block. Hey, help me out here, guys. Aha! Attack! Velvet Jeep! Okay, what the... Yeah, this is going to take some getting used to. This is very different from Zysteria. And it's been a while since I played a Tails game in general. I think the last one I played was when I tried to... When I was trying to make sure Tales of Graces actually works on my PS3. We have an interesting looking party here. Now, if you guys remember Aizen, if you're familiar with the Tales series, Aizen is the older brother of Edna and Zysteria. Okay, we got some more stuff over here, so we're going to get that real quick. Got that. And I'm not going to worry too much about random battles. I'm going to focus more on the exploration here. This grimoire who we're searching for is a Moloch like Bienfu, right? To be honest, What's a I don't see how someone so different can be a Moloch just the same as Lofi said or Isaac. What's a Moloch? I understand your doubts. It's quite the tangly mess. I'll tell you anything! In that case, <laughs> I've been wondering, what's underneath your hat? Oh no! Anything but that! Why? So, we've hit a wall already. But that ribbon flaps around and gets in the way, right? Could I take it off for you? No! No! That's not possible! You mustn't remove the ribbon! That thing oh, is... That's another thing I can't say! What the... It's all pants with you. Alright, is there anything you can tell me? I could talk about what type of Malakim we are, or our position Malakim. in the world of Malakim, or our abilities. Wonder oh, if someone to I'd Seraphim. like to know all that. Then I will tell you. Listen closely. We Norman are a well-established... Aha! Team. You're Norman! I remember you from this area. We aren't as adept at manipulating natural forces, but we excel at drawing out and heightening the abilities of others. Oh. Think of them as a convenient power-up. They're also known as common spirits. Don't even say that! We Norman hate being called that. You're everywhere, so though. For you? Because it makes people think we're average and unremarkable. That's why we work so hard to show how we're all different. That does explain your quirky speaking mannerisms. It does, Don't actually. That's a perfectly common thing to worry about. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, that pun was so bad it made that little dude cry. <laughs> Vessels in so privacy. What's it really like? Huh? The connection between Moloch and Vessel. Do you share thoughts and feelings? Um, sort of. When I'm dwelling inside Eleanor, I can see what she sees and hear what she hears. Oh. But I can't read her thoughts or her emotions. Sitting in a box doesn't teach you how the box feels. I see. In that case, I want to give her as little time alone as possible. Uh, I don't want to bathe with her, alright? I know. You're a boy and all. 
For her baths, we can send Bienfu. No, that's a bad idea. <laughs> It'll have to be Mogulu. Or myself. Phew! What sort of boundaries have you and Eleanor drawn? How do you sleep? We talk before bed sometimes. But it's not like I'm sleeping by oh, the audio is room. killing me that It's easier for me to tell when she wakes up if I'm dwelling inside her. Does like you guys you guys outside? hear that. That's not just me. Experience. And she sleeps so peacefully. Huh? When she's around you guys, she always looks so stern. But when she's sleeping, her expression is softer, you could say. She lets her hair down too. And I think it's kind of prettier that way. Aww. Huh. So that's what he likes. What? Well, keep an eye on her, but... But? Watch out for the older girls. Huh? Watch out for the... Uh, oh, dear. Oh, Lord. Velvet, I like you already, at least. Let's climb this. Let's see here, but yeah, that audio is the one thing that's driving me crazy. Otherwise, I like this. Okay. Uh, Velvet seems like a pretty cool character. Uh, I'm not sure. Can I climb down there? Do I even need to? No, I don't need to. Why would I bother? There's no need. Stop goofing around, Rudrick. Oh, you just... Oh! Like you do in Symphonia. Or most Tales games, actually. Alrighty, let's open this up. Do I have, like, a party menu or something like that? Let's see. Aha! No, that's not what I was looking for. Yeah, here we go. Um, let's see. Do I strategy? No, apparently they're all like just talking to me. So, ooh, there's a conversation piece somewhere over here. If I can get to it. What are those penguins doing? Probably. Keeping their eggs warm? Maybe. Most likely. They look like a mama and a papa. Penguins are monogamous, faithful creatures. They never leave their mate. <sighs> Isn't that romantic? So they lay eggs because they're like husband and wife. But how do they make the eggs? Oh dear. <gasps> That's well, um. So Luffy said, "Here's an interesting fact." A single penguin egg actually contains dozens of small <laughs> orange eggs. Also, so their eggs have to be small and crunchy. Um. Yep. They have the texture of caviar and the rich flavor of sea urchins. Interesting. So they're more like fish than birds. So you've eaten them. How cruel. Look how much they care about their young. While it may be a bit cruel, they taste amazing. They're considered a delicacy in some circles. Top a bowl of rice with these crunchy eggs and some rich penguin thigh meat, and you get a dish called Family Fricassee. Hmm. A horrific name. I wasn't the one who named it, okay? Those eggs look tasty, but I think I'll pass. <laughs> the conversations in the Tales games are what makes them pretty awesome. Um, there's so many goofy things that the characters will say from time to time. Whether in conversations with each other normally, or just in like skits like you see. Some more cat's gems. There's probably some around here if I had to guess. I know your tricks, Tails. Tails games. Bandai Namco, you cannot trick me. Says the guy that needed a uh, player's guide to play Zysteria because holy crap. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's the signal we're in a new area. Okay. If we have the star like we did in Zysteria. I don't want to fight you guys. I want to explore. We'll fight plenty later, okay? Apple gel. Those are always come in handy. Oh, I ran right into that. Sand mole battle tutorial time. Let's see. Spending one break gauge level during a combo will instantly switch out characters and perform a tremendous knockback. Doing this while defending will switch characters without attacking, so decide which is right for the situation. When you have at least one blast gauge, which is the blue, you can press up to spend one blast gauge, blast gauge and switch out the character from battle while attacking with the incoming substitute fighter. Once your party reaches six members, you can also press down. As long as you have the required blast gauge, you can even switch out KO'd characters for characters who can still fight. 
select which character switch out with left and right. Okay. Woohoo! It's kind of like we've got a combo system here, kind of like a fighting game. I like that. I just don't know what the combinations are. That was cool. Woo! All right. I thought we were done for. Eh, we're fine. Floric daggers. A pair of swords that use fluoride as a mana catalyst. No! Don't come after me. Don't want. Let's see what's in here. The fib old boots. I could probably mess with equipment. Let's do that, actually. Let's see. You use. We don't have anything for that. We already have those. Um, we didn't get anything for you, did we? Nope. Let's see here. Those are actually better. Oh, they change! Oh, that's great. I love that in an RPG, actually. Alright. We're gonna go here, and it's gonna trigger a scene. Is that... Grimoire? What the heck? She's moving away. Holy crap. Battle tutorial. The sorcerer's ring obtained from devouring Ceres? Wait, when did we do that? Anyway, enables you to now break souls. Oh! That's how. Hold R2 with three or more souls while standing by or during a combo to pay one soul to activate, restoring HP and BG. Hitting with this attack will cause Velvet to become therianized, which strains HP but gains additional abilities based on the enemy type. Based on the enemy type. Reaching one hit point or performing an art when the maximum combo chain has been reached will unleash a break art. And in therianization, the lower Velvet's HP, the more powerful the attack becomes. Holy crap. Holy crap, I just got a lot more powerful. It ended, though. You got a guard, got a guard. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, he's guard he was guarding there for a minute. I was like, oh, no, you don't. Whoa. Come on, come on. Ow. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Oh, what are you doing? Boom! Should have waited till her HP was lower. Ah! Boom! Holy crap, she's powerful in that form. We gotta wait, we gotta wait. Come on. Ha! <laughs> Boom! That was a considerably powerful enemy. Not really when I learned how to therianize. Ooh, we got stuff. <laughs> and that was it. Okay, well that's a not that's all for that. Available January twenty fourth, twenty seventeen. Okay. That was fun. Uh no, we're not gonna do that because I've already bought and pre ordered the game. Let's do um, battle mode. Powerful demons have appeared in Baird Marsh. Subdue them at once. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining me for the Tales of Berseria demo. Um, also, something else I want to note is I'm playing this on PS4, and my controller is actually glowing in different colors. It's going like this reddish pink color, which I find interesting while I'm playing this game. Uh, anyway, I probably will not be doing a Let's Play of this game. Um, but if you guys would like to see me do this one eventually, um, let me know. I mean, obviously, Tales games are huge, and I've already got one blind Let's Play going on right now, Final Fantasy 15. 
Um, so a Tales game, I would rather do a full playthrough of it before I did a Let's Play of it. Um, but let me know what you guys think. I might do a stream when I eventually stream or something like that. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And join me next Sunday for another Rudrick Trials where we'll try out a new game. Rudrick out.